Welcome again guys. We are talking about chicken embryology and previously we have talked about uh, the cleavage in chicken. Now in this video we will be talking about the gastrulation, gastrulation uh, in cheek. Okay. So for gastrulation in cheek what we know that gastrulation we have already talked about gastrulation uh, completely. Uh, we have talked about it uh, detail in details in previous video so we won't be talking about in it in, in detail now so only what we'll be talking about here we'll be talking about uh, the basic process and, and and the uniqueness of this uh, chicken embryo uh, formation and chicken uh, gastrulation here right so after the cleavage is done remember a uh, cleavage begins from zygote and first furrow second furrow formation and finally we get 32 cells now the 32 cell stage the 32 cell stage is simply termed as blastocyte. So we get blastocyte here. So once we get blastocyte, now it will be mature to, uh, through the gastrulation process. And we know gastrulation is simply a modification of cells, organizers start to occur, and finally cells are being matured. And those totipotent cells are finally getting some meaning of their life to produce a special specific kind of cells with specific functions right that's what gastrulation is all about now for this process for chickens uh, if we start to talk about it let's say this is the chicken egg now in this chicken egg what we're seeing that at the very beginning this is the yolk sac region with the yellow color we'll be drawing the yolk sac so this is the yolk sac section now what is going on at the very beginning process the terminal cells this outer layer cells start to occur so, so at the very beginning, uh, cells start to uh, divide and the cell division start to occur uh, onto the top layer of this yolk sac. So inside this yolk sac, we are having yolk, no need to worry about it. So what is going on here? Cells start to form. So cells start to form onto the surface of this yolk sac. So here we come, the yolk sac region. And cells, let, let's say these are the cells start to form. Uh, inside this yolk sac so still cells start to form like this so as the cells are growing and developing this is the first layer of cells that are going to form at the very inner layer of cells right then after cer certain times later a new layer of cells start to emerge onto this onto this first layer of cells right so let's say this is the this is the new this is the first layer of cells and the new layer of cells start to emerge there throughout this place a new layer of cells start to form now during the formation of this new layer of cells remember uh, this this particular yolk sac or yolk region start to deplete right so as as this new layer or second layer start to form which is going to be the outermost layer of this uh, shell of uh, this egg which is also called the ectoderm is start to form and during this process depletion of this yolk sac start to occur so what is going on there in this case they are kind of they are kind of coming inside like this and also this outer layer is coming outside like this during this process this yolk sac is going very less it's cutting down right and what they form sooner if i if we imagine this inside a layer like this what they form sooner they form a pore outside this is called blastopore right and hollow cylinder was inside which is called blastoseal the blastopore start to occur through this part through this pore actually through this pore cells are kind of forming invagination inside and what we see two different types of layers start to form the first layer that that was start to form uh, onto the surface of yolk sac are termed as this these are the layer they are termed as they are termed as let me light endo they are termed as endoderm and the second layer which is start to form onto the surface of endoderm are called ectoderm but where does the middle layer come from because we know that there there is obviously middle layer now after the formation uh, or the invagination is going on by this in ectoderm and endoderm it is going on during this process another new layer of cells start to start to form and they start to take this over opposite direction through this layer and this new layer of cells 
again from the blastocyte is moving at this orientation in the anti-clockwise orientation and sooner and sooner it will reach in between these first two layers and it is termed as mesoderm mesoderm so uh, after ultimately completion of all these stages what we'll be seeing we'll be seeing one ectoderm completely outside one mesoderm sorry so ectoderm uh, endoderm inside and one mesoderm that we've seen in between ectoderm and endoderm right and inside that will be having that small yolk sac region radiant there and the developing embryo will be attached to the uh, that that developing embryo will be there in the allantois right so new formation will be there which is called allantois we'll be talking about it later it will look something like this where the developing embryo will go grow allantois right so then this is the yolk sac let me write this is the yolk sac and then these are the organizing system now soon they form this particular system the rest of the things remain kind of same because the ectoderm produces nervous system parts of eye the feather beak claws skin all of these things from coming from ectoderm now endoderm produces the digestive system remember digestive system and different secretory uh, different secretory organs like liver and all these things now this final layer or this mesoderm the out or the inter layer of the ectoderm and endoderm the mesodermal layer it produces circulatory system skeleton system muscle system reproductive organs and excretory system in a bit so in a sense uh, production uh, process from different layers kind of remains the same for uh, for one type of embryology like chicken with frog or sea urchin all of them kind of same uh, but the process of uh, cleavage and gastrulation are hugely varied right so this is in a nutshell uh, the process of gastrulation for for chicken and i hope that's helpful guys thank you